When working in Unreal Engine, it can become quite handy to extend the project settings with custom parameters. That I used at different locations across your project. For that, you first have to define a container that defines which information will be saved. Today, we will base our class on the developer settings class. However, there is also another way that we will check out when we talk about settings for custom plugins. Now, if you want to use the developer settings class as a base, you also have to add the developer settings to your project dependencies. The developer settings class is basically a base class for project settings that will be automatically discovered. However, you still have to keep a few things in mind regarding the specifiers you use. The first one you want to use is the config specifier. In a future video, I will talk more about the config related specifiers. For now, you have to know that the name here defines under which main category your settings will appear in the project settings. So for example, game or engine. The default config specifier defines that the information about your settings will be saved to the default.ini files. So for example, default game.ini or default engine.ini, which can both be found in the config folder of your project. Lastly, the display name specifier can be used to define the subcategory under which our custom settings can be located inside the project settings. So in our case, my custom project settings. Now in this container, we can define different properties that will be displayed in the project settings. However, for each property, you have to add the config keyword to indicate that you want to save it to the configuration file. And obviously you also have to expose them to the editor. What you can also do now is to create a default constructor that sets the initial values of your properties. Now, if we move to the project settings, you will see that you can change those values that you have defined in your class. And if you close the editor, you will also see that your changes will be persistent. One quick additional thing is that you can also use a category specifier for your properties to further sort your properties in different categories. Now, you might be wondering how to access those values inside your code. This can be done by calling the get default function with the specific class for your settings. And if you mark your properties as blueprint read only and create a static blueprint callable function that returns the get default value, you are also able to access those values in your blueprints. With that, you should be ready to extend your project settings. Like always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more Unreal Engine C++ content and see you next time.